Hello and welcome to Europedia. My name is Aman Sharma and I am your mentor for CSE at Europedia. So today this video is from past year questions that were asked in Scientist B NIC uh, question paper. So today the topic we have uh, selected is uh, data structures and algorithm. So these questions were asked in 2020 exam of NIC. So the first is what will be the pre-order for this tree? Now for pre-order, pre-order is nothing but when the function will be called, it will be pre-order. The order in which functions are called is pre-order and the order in which functions are executed completely, completely is post-order. So we have to just traverse the tree and the order in which uh, we will be traversing will be the pre-order. So if you traverse the tree like this, so first A will come. So A, then B, D, F, then we will go to E. CGI, HJL, HJ, KL. So this will be the pre-order for this tree. So it is A, B, D, F, E, C, G, I, H, J, K, L. So the correct option will be option A. Now the next question is, what is the best case complexity for quicksort? Now, Quick, the, uh, the recurrence relation for quick sort is, it depends, for the worst case the recurrence relation is n minus 1 plus t of 1 plus order of n. So this is the worst case in which the pivot will, uh, will divide the array into this type. So the one element will be here and the other elements will be here. So when pivot is selected like that, it is the worst case. Every time one element is left and all the other elements go to the uh, other side. So this is the worst case. In this, the time complexity is order of n square. And for the best case, the recurrence relation is t of n by 2 plus t of n by 2. When you divide the array into two equal parts. So if you solve this using master's theorem, plus order of n. Now this is equal to, so this is n log 2 base 2 which is equal to n. Now this n is equal to this n, so the time complexity will be n log n. So best case time complexity for quicksort is n log n. Now the next question is, the recurrence relation for t of n, 7 t n by 7 plus n is. So again we can apply the master theorem here plus order of n. So we will compare this n with, we will compare this n with n log b by a which is 7, 7. So which is equal to n. So both are asymptotically equal. So when both are asymptotically equal, this is the third case of master theorem and what uh, what is the answer for third case of master theorem? The time complexity will be n log b a into log n k plus 1. Now in this log n is not there. So this means you can write it as n log n base, uh, sorry log n power 0. So k value is 0. So here k value will be k plus 1. So the time complexity will be n log 7 base 7 and log n 0 plus 1 which is equal to n log n. So the time complexity will be n log n. Now the next question is, which type of link list stores the address of the header node in the next field of the last node? Now it is saying that now every link list, every node will, will store the address of the next node and the last node will have null here in the normal link list. But when the next field of the last node has some address, it is always of the first node. So this is what? This is circular link list. So this is what? Circular link list. Now the next question is, suppose we have to insert the following sequence of keys into an empty binary search tree, BST. Now what is the property of BST? Right element will be greater and the left, uh, right child will be greater and the left child will be smaller than the parent value. So first 5 will be inserted. After that 7 will be inserted here because it is greater 45, greater than 5, greater than 7 here, 60, greater than all of them. 
after that 50 is greater than 45 but less than 60 so here 23 is greater than 7 but less than 45 now 15 greater than 7 great uh, less than 45 and less than 23 so again here now 54 less than 60 greater than 50 so this will be the tree that will be uh, that we will get uh, if we insert this key insert these keys into the system now it is asking what would be the height of the binary search tree so height is one here second level three four and five so the correct answer is option c so this is these were the questions that were asked in 2020 uh, 2020 uh, nic scientist b exam for data structures and algorithm so you can see uh, the difficulty level of the exam that it is not as compared to the gate so i hope you understood the questions and i hope you liked the video uh, keep preparing and keep uh, watching thank you